people, really wiping it out of off the. And what do you make of this shift in the war strategy? We had learned earlier on in the last couple of weeks that uh, Russia was focusing on trying to create this land bridge to Crimea, which is why they've been pummeling um, the city of Mariupol, really wiping it out of off the face of the earth, because they want to have all of that land that in what they call the Donbass region in the east that goes all the way down to Crimea. Now it looks like they're off that strategy. And as you said, just pounding civilians in random cities, even in western Ukraine. Well, this was always part of the Russian strategy. That, that's not a new factor to it. It's just that what happened was they got destroyed in northern U in, the, in the northern part of Ukraine, certainly northwest of Kiev, uh, near Chernihiv, out in the northeast, out in Sumy. They had their lines of supplies cut off. They had uh, their logistics destroyed, and they pulled those forces out of that part of the country. Now they're going for a land grab on 20 percent of the country uh, to take the entire eastern uh, portion of that uh, of, of Ukraine and leveling Mariupol, leveling Kherson, leveling Kharkiv, uh, you know, making their thrust to Izumi and wiping that place out in every other village with long range artillery. This is why the United States needs to provide heavy weapons to Ukraine. Russia has one advantage on this battlefield, and that is long range artillery. And let me tell you, let me let me say something to the president of the United States. Give them counter battery long range artillery, multiple rocket launch systems, HIMARS rocket launch systems, something that can outrange their artillery. If you do that, you stop the attacks on civilians because that's what they're doing with the artillery. They are mass murdering civilians and they're barely, you know, they're, they're preparing the battlefield as well, but they destroy villages. They don't care who's in them and who's not. And that's what this entire fight is about. If we fail here, and we're not going to because we're here to win and we are winning. But if we fail here, they, you know, the Russians, they're here to wipe democracy out in this country and hopefully that it would cascade to other countries. This battle is here. It's going to be fought now and we're going to win it. As they say here in Ukraine, Borica Poborete. If you fight, you win. And this country is already winning. And that's why Russia is shifting its strategy.